How are these cells connected? Well, they're quite obviously positive to negative, positive to negative, so they must be in series. How are the bulbs connected? Well, L1 is on the main branch, and it is in series with L2 and L3. So, L2 and 3 are parallel, but L1 is series. What is the relationship between A1, A2, and A3? Well, let's look where they are. A1 is on the main branch. A2 and A3 are on the side branches. So A2 plus A3 would be equal, sorry, equal to A1. What is the relationship between V1, V2, and V3? What we notice is that V2 is over the parallel network. V1 is over the other bulb. And then those two together are going to equal V3. So we can say V3 is equal to V1 plus V2. Assume that readings are given. So we've put them onto the diagram already. And you'll also notice that I've colored the diagram already. I've gone from the negative terminal until I hit a resistor or a light bulb. I've gone from the positive terminal and I've done that again. Which clearly highlights that this section is a parallel network. And this section over here is on the main branch of the circuit. Calculate the reading first on V1. Um, I've got that 6 volts is on V3, and I've got that 2 volts is on V2. So these all add up, so that must be 4 volts. The resistance of L1, so I can now say R is equal to V over I, and that is equal to 4 over 1. 1 because this is on the main branch, and it's going through that light bulb as well. And then that's equal to 4 ohms. What is the reading on A2? On the top branch here, I have the resistance and I have the potential difference. Because remember, this potential difference is for the whole parallel network. And it is for e any one of the branches. So I can say that current strength is equal to V divided by R, which is equal to 2 divided by 10, which equals 0, 0,2 amps. What is the reading on A3? Um, I now know that I've got 1 amp coming along here, and it's going to split. 0, 0,2 amps is going to go to the top branch, which means that 0, 0,8 amps is going to need to go to the bottom branch. What is the resistance of L3? Well, now I can say R is equal to V divided by I. What is the potential difference across L3? It's the 2 volts for the parallel network, and the current strength is 0, 8. So that's going to equal 2,5 ohms. And how much charge flows? Oops, my pictures landed up going over there, so I don't know where, where we want to get the charge going through. Ah, here we go. How much charge flows through? A1 in 2 minutes. So we're going through A1 over there. Q is equal to I times T. The current strength is 1 amp. The time is... Um, 120 seconds for 2 minutes and therefore I get 120 coulombs. The ammeter um, registers 2 amps, voltmeter, so I've filled in all of those values. Calculate the resistance of R1. R1 is on the main branch. This is a complete series circuit, so it's easy. The ammeter reading is the same everywhere. R1 is 2 amps, and I've got a potential difference, so I can say R is equal to V over I, which is equal to 4 over the current strength, which is going to be equal to 2 ohms. Calculate the reading on V2. I know that I have got a current strength going through a 1 ohm resistor, so V is equal to I times R. The current is 2, the resistance is 1, so I land up with 2 volts, so that's 2 volts over there. Um, calculate the potential difference of the battery. So now I can put those two together. We haven't started talking about internal resistance yet, so we can just take the external as being the potential difference of the battery, which is going to be 4 plus 2, which is equal to 6 volts. And each cell, then, if there are three of them, is 6 divided by 3, which is equal to 2 volts. Calculate the charge that flows through R1 in 3 minutes. So I'm looking over there at R1, and we want the charge. Q is equal to I times T, and my, my charge 
sorry, my current is 2 amps and my time is 180 seconds and I land up with 360 coulombs. The maximum current used by a motor of a hybrid car is 100 amps. The supply voltage is 300 volts. What is the resistance? Easy. You're going to say R is equal to B divided by I, and you get 3 ohms because you've got the potential difference and the current. Calculate the charge moving through the ammeter in 2 minutes. Charge is equal to current times time. 2 minutes converts into 120 seconds. You've got a current strength, so you are able to work out 12,000 coulombs. Calculate the amount of work done or energy transferred but in 2 minutes. So work done is V times Q. I've got 300 volts. I've got a charge. It's also VIT. It, it's exactly the same information. And you land up with 3,600,000 joules. If an electric motor of a hybrid car produces less power than the power needed to go uphill, where does the extra energy come from? You um, Hybrid means a crossbreed. Okay, if you've got a hybrid flower, it's two flowers together. Hybrid car has both a um, electric engine as well as it backs up with petrol. So if the car doesn't have enough power for any reason, it will go over to petrol. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. So it will use petrol. Assume the battery in the circuit has no internal resistance. Calculate the total resistance of the circuit. So our first thing is to say... 1 over R parallel is equal to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3. And I don't forget to invert that. So it becomes 6 over 3, which is 2 ohms. I add 12 and I add 4 to that and I get 18 ohms altogether. Determine the reading on the ammeter. I've now got a total potential difference and I've got a total resistance. So I can take 36 and divide it by 18 and get 2 amps. It's on the main branch of the circuit. How much charge passed through the 4 ohm resistor in 1 hour? 4 ohm is on the main branch, so I can use that series current over there. And I can say 2, um, sorry, I've left out 1. What is the reading on the voltmeter? I have got a current strength coming along here. V is equal to I times R, which is going to be 2 amps. I'm just going to fill that in over here. Multiplied by 4 ohms, and I land up with 8 volts. And then the next one is what is my charge passing through there. The number of seconds in an hour is 3,600. So I say 2 amps multiplied by 3,600 and I get 7,200 coulombs of charge. Then determine the reading, calculate the total resistance, no, calculate the power in the 12 ohm resistor. So in the 12 ohm resistor, I've got resistance and I've got current. So I'm going to go power is I squared R. Substitute in the values and I get 48 watts. What? And then for some reason, we've repeated all of the questions. So we can just ignore those last few, which is helpful because I didn't have the answers lying right here, but I could have worked them out over there. 